Hello world! Dave here, me coming on Joe. Welcome back to Dave Zaylis. This is the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Daily for November 5th, 2013. Ah, Maggie again. Comfy. And there was something I was gonna say. Uh, let's just hope this time I don't have another guide button accent. I was gonna start recording in my Linux part. I dual boot my computers. Wait. I, yeah, I dual boot, so, like, I have this game on Linux, and I was thinking about recording there, because OBS is now available on Linux, and then I tried. I tried, it didn't work. Oh, well. Things happen. Let's just go ahead and hammer out some... Ah, I was hoping I wouldn't get hit. Okay, the peeper is not a great starting item, but, you know, you take it. Alright, so let's just see if I can't... There's probably no... No, those probably won't be enough to find a secret room, but it's gonna hurt to poke. But yeah, so, uh, so far in this uh, relatively straightforward run. Just a few, few simple enemies, nothing too ridiculous. Clots, those blobby thingies. I don't know what they're called. To be honest, I still remember, like, the original Isaac had, like, like, had, like, all the names of all the enemies in the credits. And that was nice. I liked that. But then, a certain, shall we say, egg, decided to just call them whatever. And from there, it just kind of snowballed. Ooh. Man, we are just getting heaps of crap today. Let's go ahead and just bomb away that secret rock, that rock, and... Yeah, I'll use a key. Oh, fate right off the bat. Flying right in the first floor. Ah, yes, this is going to be a good run. This is going to be a very, very good run. Oh, what a day. What a glorious day. Now, if only I had spectral tears. Yeah, well, can't, can't take everything. This is a damn good start, though. I am not complaining. Wait. So... Let's see. Right off the bat, lust, and uh, okay. Right off the bat, flying, lust, playing as Maggie. So I've already had success. And our job, t and our goal today is to beat Satan. Okay, okay, I can see this. I feel like we're already in a good spot, and I can't see any see us going anywhere but up, up, up. Oh, and we get the secret rooms right off the bat too. Damn, son. I would not have guessed there. This is just... Oh. Hmm. Nah, probably... Not. I probably... If I backtrack, I probably won't find the second one. There it is. Bunch of pills. 48 hour energy. Sweet. That was not as sweet. One makes you larger. I found pills and another 48 hour. Oh, I just realized I lost my eternal heart from, uh, fate. Yeah, well. We got a Larry Jr. fight here. Larry Jr. is not probably one of the easiest bosses in the game. I still can't... There was always kind of a nice quaint... Uh, the fact that we have, like, Peeper is going to actually make this a lot easier as well, because Peeper will be able to just tear through him. There's not a lot of ways that this can go wrong, I see. I can... I'm going to say. Like, we have... We're just... The game is just giving us everything right off the bat. Did go through that one a little slow, but Maggie's just slow in general, so that's gonna happen, I guess. We can deal with these guys, and just uh, pummel our way through. Just push our way through. Deal with everything. Deal with everything that comes, and we never have to worry. I could probably even uh, head to the shop this floor. Now, you should don't think about that so early. This key. We are rolling in keys. We are rolling in, well, maybe not bombs, but we're doing okay. Bombs, like, I don't worry too much about, honestly. I don't use them too much in combat, even though I could. Uh, oh god. Stop. Stop. Stay still. Stupid skitter leg spawner. <sighs> I'm gonna try to use my one bomb here. Also put out this fire so I don't make an idiot of myself.
Two more bombs. Fine. I think I'll use it to get into the curse room. Use one to get into the curse room. And another 48-hour energy pill. Man, this is just so many 48-hour energy pills in this run. Like, regular co regular energy coffee fanatics must be thrilled. I do not drink coffee myself. And that's why I was almost going to introduce this episode as an insomnia-fueled edition. Because I have not been getting sleep, but that is neither here nor there. Notch Uh... I was a little worried about that one. Also this one. Oh, wow, this game is just giving us the nuts. Let's go ahead and uh, into the shop. Pill jar for seven cents. Oh, but there's also a shopkeeper here that we can explode for money. Eh, I'm just going to buy the Spirit Heart. Could buy a replacement key, but I feel like I don't need it. There's the boss. Like, the game has been giving us everything. I can't see us. I can't see this not going our way. We got a monstro fight, and... I will admit that our damage is a little lacking, but everything else has just been coming up roses. It's kind of... Everything... It's absolutely kind of ridiculous. I don't think I've ever had a, a run this good. I can probably guarantee you making our way to killing Mom with this right now. I'm going to say that. I'm going to call getting to Mom done. Pass Mom's heart. We'll see. I don't have a space bar I'm happy with, but though I will take the young heart if need be. Probably won't make the boss rush. I don't think we're making enough time. Although I will try to still be going for my usual speedy route. Just because it works and it gets you a good score. Although, I have been extremely thorough this run. I mean, there's been rooms I haven't seen. <sighs> Range up, really. Satan, you better have something good. God damn it, Satan. Oh! Cursed eye and a teleport and so nothing. I'm tempted to just bomb say Oh no, wait, Satan's already been blown up. Okay, 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 fine, fine, fine. Be that way. I know better than to take cursed eye. That thing has ruined me in multiple in, in multiple instances. But down we go. We got a gauntlet here. I probably shouldn't, but let's try it. Ooh! Okay, spiders and a uh, spirit heart. Sure. And some pills that I'll check later. I think we've cleared... I think we've identified one of them. Don't remember. My memory's really quite crap. I've gotten into trouble with that. Alright, we got... Uh, we got... Kind of, we got maggot farm here. Not much time. And we can just go ahead and clear these guys. They're relatively easy enemies. I will say I usually don't do these gauntlets on when I'm uh, when I'm doing dailies, but well, I figured we give it a shot. We can get some rewards out of this maybe, and maybe those rewards will help speed things up. I was hoping for maybe like a. A guppy item. You know, well, let's get the guppy transformation going. And that might actually give us... That can dramatically speed things up just off of raw damage. Okay. Bad trip. Bad gas. Alrighty then. And already I'm exiting poor, poor fundies. Really poor fundies. Stop dodging into things, David. At least we, at least I haven't taken red heart damage. So I could probably still set myself up for like uh for like divine in, for divine gift. Gift from the angel. Whatever. I mean they you don't make deals with angels, they just give you things because they think you're better than that. They don't they're not gonna ask you for your soul in exchange for whatever. 
Ah, God damn it! Poor, poor fundies. Today is just a day of me just making an ass of myself. Although to be fair, I'm usually terrible when it comes to avoiding damage. And I guess that's why my last my last daily run was with Maggie. Much problem. Could use a little more speed. I would like the speed. I would like a speed up though. Whoa. See if I can't just take out this the guy that's spawning all these stupid maggots. I don't like these new black maggots with the fact that they shoot bullets when they die. I mean, they're no different than the usual maggots, but it's still kind of annoying. Okay. Sacrifice room. Edmund said he was going to make those better, but he never really did anything, did he? Eh, well. I'm just remembering, like, all the... Terrible damage. All the things that were promised in this expansion. Ooh. I just guessed. Decent bit of money. We can blow up this, uh... Blow up this guy for a little more cash. We're making so much cash here that I can, would not be opposed to heading right into... Right into a nice little... Ball, ooh. Ball of tar. Nice. Sticky feet. Sticky shots. This is gonna be handy. Now let's see if we can't find the shop. Oh. Bloody hell. Also, I've actually noticed something interesting. It's, uh... Mostly useless to think about, but it is interesting. They only ever use these, uh, shooting head guys on areas where you're... I mean, not the shooting heads, the bats. They only ever use the bats in, in uh, rooms where you're actually... where your movement is somewhat constrained, usually by, like, a lack of... God damn it. Buy this key, blow this guy up. He didn't drop any money. But yeah, they only ever use those bats in, like, rooms where you're slightly constrained, where, like, you don't have any... Like, like this, like, where your pathways are limited, and, like, I've been taken out from under you. And we have P. Okay, so now this is actually getting really annoying, because I am... Yeah, I'm lacking in uh, any kind of damage, but I can... I think, well... Yeah, like I said, I'm just going to consider, like, boss rush out for this one. But, what are we doing all right? I think we can uh, slowly whittle our way through this one. We have, peep we have peepers helping us with damage. We have, uh, fair we have the ability to fly to help our uh, defense. And I might... And I can probably afford to face tank a bit. Not super ecstatic about not being able to get... Uh, deals with the devil anymore, but, man, eh, I'm doing alright. Now let's just see if we can't get our little screensaver there, he goes, to actually chip in with some damage, because my damage is not quite there. I certainly have survivability up to the end game, which is to be expected when you're playing as uh, Maggie, but, eh, could be doing so much more. And at a slow and grueling 10 minutes, so it looks like we'll finally be done with this floor. And the old bandage. Nice! Now, if only we could exchange this for something. Yeah, well, down to the catacombs, and... Let's head downward. I'm still gonna at least try my darndest to... To get, oh, as, to get as good of a time as I can. Because I feel comfortable with that. I feel like we can manage a reasonable time here if we can, with a little bit of work. And this is why flying is, one, is aces. Getting that fate right off the bat is probably, like, the best thing that could have happened. Now, if only we could go into that, uh, boss gauntlet. Ah. Ah. Well. Oh, 
not a great start, but I, like I said, we got survivability forever for days, so I can afford to take a hit. Bandage will help me with the... Uh, a bit. Help me a bit. I also happen to have the ability to fly. I have the ability to heal. It's like... Survivability is not going to be a problem. It's just getting... Making sure that I can damn it, deal some damage here. Because right now... A little... Not there. Come on. Give me something in this shop. God damn it, Greed! Okay, now my next hope is that I get, like, the D... It's like I find the item room and get the... What is it, D7? Is that even a real dice size? It's like, I don't play a lot of D&D, but I'm pretty sure we... Like, D6, D12, sure. D100 and D... And D7. I think you're just making up numbers, Edmund. Heal up after that catastrophic fight. <sighs> Isaac is a game of snowballs, you know? You get hit once and it starts to... And you start to lose advantages really quickly. You There's also the ability for your for the items you get and to help you snowball out of control. And... Like, the game can really just roll fast. Death. Okay. Probably use it here, because large room. Yeah. I mean, it's not a super large room, but it's still annoying enough. Easy enemies, easy time. Easiest game ever. I wish. Now, if only I could get a little bit of damage. It's just, I just need some damage. That's all I would need to be happy. Just give me damage. Just damage. That's all. Of, that's all. This, that's all. Of the, that's all that Maggie wants right now is just to be able to hurt some people. She likes hurting people. Haven't you heard? Although, admittedly, not probably not uh, what you would expect from uh, someone that should be like a protagonist from Hotline Miami. I never played Hotline Miami 2. I was kind of bummed. Like, I heard a lot like the f that it was like it started its difficulty curve out where Hotline Mi Miami 1's curve ended, which doesn't sound great because like, and as hard as Hotline Miami was, it still had a curve. You could still, you know, slowly kind of come to grasp with everything. The first stage wasn't a million enemies at once. It was a few in specifically smartly planted positions to get you to understand what you're dealing with. And then a dirty trick to make you realize that this is going to be brutal. This is going to be hard, but it wasn't that dirty of a trick. Let's just see if I can't whittle down these, uh, these, these zombies here. Child's heart, finally. Well, let's add more survivability to to our current ensemble. Also, I'm getting a bit of slowdown, but it's probably nothing. I always like how these guys effectively act like they're like, like they're one unit. Like I could slow down one and it slow down the whole. It's kind of interesting. Hmm. I kind of don't want to fight the boss right now, because I figure I could maybe find the item room. I hate to backtrack so much for it, but... Eh. At this point, I kind of want to see what what's available, and maybe get some more healing out of the young heart. So right now, I've not been doing super hot, in case you haven't noticed. I've been really... I've, my fundies have been super poor. I've been getting hit a lot. So let's just go ahead and see if there's the item room. 
Let's actually... No, this is the wrong side to be flying over. I should be flying over here where I'm not at risk of getting... of touching any random flies that might be nearby. Alright. Clear it out. Spirit Heart. I mean, they kind of nerfed Dr. Fetus, but I feel like it's probably going to be better damage than what I have currently, right? I have no idea, honestly. Have I found the secret room? No? Well, I have infinite pops now. Pretty sure that wasn't quite where I wanted it to land. No? Okay. Okay. Fine. There's no thunder. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and... I was gonna say... Forgo my usual... Oh! Mystery sack. Eh. Uh, it's okay right now. I feel like with my survivability, I should probably be taking advantage of this. Also, I just realized how much slowdown is being applied to the recording. This is not quite the frame rate. Hold on a second. Boop. Boop. I think that might solve it. I think. Okay, we have the hollow here. Easy fight, easy time. Easiest game ever? Yep. I think the hollow would probably still be easy. Oh, hey, lucky me, I still got the... Still got it. Not to get from an angel. Wow. Generous. Well, I don't have a way to reroll the key, so I'm not gonna waste time fighting fighting the angel. So it's like, yeah, and we're not making boss rush. But now that we have like infinite bombs, dang! Right off the bat, ooh, golden poop. Uh, it does seem like this is not quite doing the job. There we go. Eh. Counterfeit penny. I feel like I'm good with money. Like, at some point, I'm just gonna have too much money to actually know what I'm gonna do with it. I mean, this isn't great mode. I don't need infinite money. I What I need is just to be smart. Two of spades for more keys? Sure, whatever. Infamy! Like I said, this game's given us everything today. Let's see if I can't just... Really, now, the real difficulty comes from trying to land these shots. I wish I had spider mod so I... the sm spider mod item so that way I knew how much damage these bombs were doing compared to everything else. Also... Boop. I should have tested this before I started, I apologize. But yeah, so far, so like I said, games give us everything. Now, if only all of these were guppy items. Nope. We got. We just got uh, trolled hard. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be the hard part. You know, for for the supposed nerfs to. To, to Dr. Fetus it doesn't seem like it's nearly as bad. Maybe they rolled it back in Afterbirth? I mean, not fully, but slightly. I mean, it feels like it. I know there's plenty of enemies where it would take like two or three bombs for you to actually do anything. 
Hmm, maybe? I have no idea. I'm just speculating. Actually, wait, this is probably not the direction I would want to go. Whoa! I just realized that since there is that secret room, that means me and there must be something on the other side of it that I could have checked out. Yeah, yeah I could do it a different route. And just... random swallowed penny. Huh. Yeah, we'll go through this route. Not there. Huh, okay. Free key. And... Just the ability to lob bombs from the air is just kind of a nice touch. Of course, I was talking before about how I don't use bombs in combat, but... Eh. Now, if only we could get, like, some bomb upgrades, like, uh... I don't know, like... Tier bombs... Oh. Like, tier bombs would actually be kind of ridiculous. Empress? Hmm, not terrible. Uh, let's see, tier bombs, there's uh, glitter bombs... Burst bombs, whatever those... I forget the names of the actual items, but like, there's new bombs that actually explode into tiny bombs. Cluster, cluster bombs, effectively. Always fun. Now, where is the shop and where is the item room? Uh, that's, but those are the two things on my mind right about now. There's the shop. Ooh, lucky penny. And the shop we go. God! That's two floors in a row! Oh, wow, actually, the damage isn't that terrible. I feel like this is actually the damage we needed now. I remember it being severely nerfed in Afterbirth and Rebirth, but now that Afterbirth's coming around, they seem to have buffed it up somewhat. Not quite to its full to its old full potential. Let's see, there we didn't, we had to, we only one shot that guy. Oh well, actually, is the relic even that good? I mean, well, it is that good, but it's just I'm in a position where I don't need it, which is a nice position. Although, honestly, I'm starting to feel like I shouldn't have taken one of these items. Probably the mystery bag. Because, well, that, because that, taking items lowers your score, so it's like, you have to be very careful. So I'm not going to play that, because I feel like I have plenty of HP, and I don't, and I want to kind of avoid lowering my score more too much. God damn it, war. Okay, I'm really consider I really think that these they do vent these. Because there's no way they would give me Dr. Fetus and then a war fight like this. In this tiny corridor where I can barely dodge. Well, at least part two will be easy, because I can slow him down with, uh, with the sticky tar, and then... No. Ball bandages. Heart. Down we go. <sighs> Missed out on boss rush, but that's fine. And then it comes down to... I have ten keys. Sure, let's go ahead and lock, knock down into this. And... Nothing worthwhile. Well, Lucky Penny's always nice. I mean, we should pick up all the things that we can, because then, then they'll give us, you know, extra money and extra points. Well, not extra money. Like, there is a swag bonus, so... I'm gonna try the curse room as well. You yeah, know, the Ball of Tar thing... Oh. Stop it with the cursed eye. Although, 
Is that good with Dr. Fetus? Let me just unleash a barrage of bombs. It probably still carries the same risk as Curse but I like the idea. No, it it doesn't those two don't synergize at all. Okay, I'm tap shooting from now on. Oh, hello, Chubb. Perfect guy, perfect enemy that I wanted to meet. Although, actually, it... Chubb dislikes smoke, they say. Yeah, I think we've proven that time and time again here, but... Although it's always nice when you have the infinite bombs and the ability to just kick them down the throat. Right in, shove them right into me, gob. That tarot card here, Joker. Let's go ahead and just slam that. Joker. Death Scythe. Uh, it doesn't show up, but it is more damage for our bombs, so... I'm not gonna complain. I kinda want the book. Because I feel it's better than Yumheart. Yeah. I can also play the reroll machine, but I kinda wanna hoard my cash. Okay, hey, penetrative shot, maybe not as great in this case. I already took one I can see for a repel. I feel like I can afford a second. Did I find a shop yet? No, I don't see one. Eggman, don't need. Keep the Empress card for the mom fight. 48 hour energy, don't need. Let's just see if I can't land these shots. Yeah, okay, Penetrative Shot actually... I mean, the extra damage from Death's Touch is nice, but I feel like I'm... It's getting harder to land the shots now that the, my bombs pass through enemies. Yeah, well, can't get everything. We can... It can sometimes come across that way. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'll take the petri petrified poop over what I had currently. Yeah, now it's like I have to be careful angling my shots. Two items that I found that just don't work that well with Dr. Fetus. Dr. Fetus has a lot of anti-synergy, and it seems like not... It's not all that it's cracked up to be, though you still... I feel like it's actually takeable now. Yeah, come on. Come on. Garum, damn it. Judgment. Okay, you know what? Fine. I will go ahead and uh, throw my money into judgment here. I'll donate to the bum. Let's see what you got, buddy. This is hurting my score, but you better give me something that'll help me in the long run. Come on, pay out already. I know you got something. For fuck's sake, stupid beans. It's like, now I need to be able to judge my shots perfectly in order to actually do this. Oh, well. Uh, at least I can fly. That room looks a lot worse than it actually was. Oh, 
Well, let's just go ahead and just work our way through this. Start off with... Probably the first thing I should have done was to fire up... Fire off... Uh, fire off uh, Book of Shadows to get some invincibility going. Also, the Empress card. Man, I am really bad at remembering my items. My active items. Just move and... Sh I've been playing too much Nuclear Throne. I'm just used to move and shoot, move and shoot, move and shoot. I never once considered for a second that, you know, you had a third option. And that there aren't any weapons that you have to switch between. Well, there's that too. Boom! And the deal with Satan that we've already seen. Uh, well, we don't have to go to the... We're only going down to Shoal, so let's just take the Polaroid. Yeah, he has nothing new. Down to the mom... Down to the womb, and... Let's dive deep. Oh, it's a scarred womb. I don't see the difference between this and the regular womb. I was in, like, pretty pictures. Is there a difference? At least with Utero, there are different enemies, but, like, Scarred Womb, it doesn't seem to quite hold up as well. Ooh, lucky me. I wasn't even angling for that. Uh, for the secret room there. Well, at least the Relic is keeping me healthy. Keep him. Not even gonna try him. Although, actually, if I can create a shortcut, I will do that. I like these new puzzle rooms, but holy crap, they can be tedious. So, let's try going down. I'm just taking guesses where we need to go. Also, I'm taking a lot of damage I really shouldn't be. Whoa. God damn it. Uh, this is making it impossible for me to land shots. The tick. Yeah, sure. The tick has a nice b enough upside that I'm willing to give it a shot. Like, less da needing to deal less damage to bosses is something that I will gladly take. Also, the relic is really paying out today. I've known times when I could be stingy. Today is not one of those days. Trying to land this shot just perfectly. Or that can happen. Ooh, what's this? Oh, right, I have the tick. Oh, boy. Come at me, Mom. I don't think she'd grab me if I'm vulnerable, right? I would prefer... To... Now I'm starting to wish I had just a regular damage up instead of uh, the... Some, instead of Death Touch, but eh, this is still not terrible. I'm willing to work with it. If I hadn't taken Dr. Fetus, I think I would consider it a blessing, but I did, so... Hmm. Still, you know, it's all about just knowing the angles, shooting some art. Anything in here? Eh, I'm not convinced that Guppy Dream's alive. Ooh, okay. Now we're talking. Because this makes up for the penetrative shots from Doctor from uh, Death's Touch. But it is one room, so I am going to hold it. 48 hour energy? No. Okay, we have to be closing in on the boss at this point, right? I feel like... Uh, good, good. Let's pop the Magician card. Oh, Skolex. Huh? What's with the Bobby Bombs uh, sprite? Oh, right, Homing Bomb. 
Oh, that's sweet! They actually used a homing bomb sprite now. That's cool. That's a cool touch. Okay, Skolex. Let's see if I can't go ahead and land some shots on your tail there. You know, with the... This is actually so much easier with the... With this little combination going here. Whoops. If I can actually learn to time my shots. Eternal Heart, Belt, down to the next floor. This is looking nice. If only I had a way to invest things. Well, let's let's go. Let's go this way. Uh oh, why did I do that? Why did I go? Why did I dodge upward? I mean, the Bobby Bombs sprite thing with with the uh, homing shots is like a minor cosmetic thing, since, you know, it's really... It really doesn't affect anything, since it, it would have effect, acted the same anyway. But it's cool that they did that. It's a small touch that I appreciate. It's all... That's always one thing I like when in a, in, a, in someone's, like, in someone doing game design, is when they... Go ahead with these small touches that they aren't necessary, but they add a little bit of flavor. It's like, mm. you can't say no. Actually, in reality, if I'm going for time, I really should probably just be blowing up all the doors, but especially when it's obvious that I've just hit a dead end. All right, let's head down. These guys are just the most nu biggest nuisance. They're not hard, they're just annoying to hit. Especially when you're using the when you're using my current setup. Oh hey, a casino. Arcade, whatever. I imagine they I imagine Edmund only called them arcades because they're because it felt weird to because even though they are effectively casinos, it just seems weird to Hmm. A bed. I was hoping to spend some money there. Maybe get some items. But, no. That's fine. I don't need to. I don't need it. I don't need it. No, seriously, I don't need it. I feel confident with what I have. Like, Death Touch is just putting in... The damage I'm putting out in it is just like, it's all I really need. Also, I just realized I forgot that to keep checking for secret rooms. Whoa. I do find it funny that the red... that the new red skulls, like, they bounce around they disappear like the white ones when the, when all the enemies are dead, but you can kill them like the new black ones. It's weird, because it feels a little inconsistent. I don't know. I'm the one that guy that wants to be a game designer one of these days, and I'm looking at it, and I'm just slowly kind of... Game design's like half science, half art, though, so no one has like the perfect formula. If we did, well, we wouldn't... I mean, the big companies think they do, but the reality is if they they keep churning out, like, the same damn Call of Duty game in it, that isn't quite... That's not really... That isn't really a winning formula. It's just a formula that they think they have that they think wins. It's not one that produces actually good games. And of course, opinions vary. I'm just actually not going to even bother with this room. Even though I think... I actually just realized something. You could... F if I was a less scrupulous type, I think I could farm... I'm not going to take the virus. I think I could farm any room I wanted to in this... 
in a daily and get like infinite points just by with bombs probably not something they consider I should try that problem is though like it the time it'd be at such a huge time penalty that I don't know if it'd work quite as well also shield up Fight ever. Ooh, and a deal with Satan. Hello, Satan. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, Satan, you didn't prom you promised no goons. Okay. Whew. Let's choose his shadow. I don't know what this is. Maw of the Void. I kind of want to also grab Judas's shadow. But I don't think I need the extra uh, second life. I'll take Maw of the Void, because it seems like it could be handy. But let's go ahead down to Shoal and finish this. I think. Oh, Curse of the... God damn it. You know, the inability for me to actually hit to land my shots here is really my, my biggest gripe. Like I said, I wish I had my... I wish that I had got... that, that uh, Death's Touch was just a pentag... was just a pentagram. It's kind of a weird scenario, huh? You'd prefer the inferior item because it works better with the, your current build. Also, goodbye. That was a dead end, so I'm just gonna move on. It'd be nice if I had my map so I knew which way I was going and where everything was. But these guys are ridiculously fast. shot in. This, these should not be hard enemies. And obviously they're, they're dying in one shot, but the problem is that I'm also not able to land those shots. There we go. <sighs> Finally. We're all ever. I'll take the hit. Of course, this guy is actually immune to spikes, so there's no reason to have, even have this layout. Kind of a weird thing. Also, I just realized how much the mystery bag is now paying out with trinkets. Let's see if I can't just land. One right sh That was the wrong pen. That was the wrong angle. Come on. Oh, well it helps that I have a helps that I have peepers here to make sure that thing that my shots line that something hits when I can't. Well, at least we're, we are. We hopefully can find the boss room soon, because this is doing a good job winding down. They've really been taking advantage of the new gravitational effect, and that would have actually been a nice pickup as well if there's like shots that have that. Another spirit heart? Sure. Yeah, see. See, now, now these, uh. Now these bombs are doing significantly more damage than the last time I fought, fought war.
Of course, I could use a higher rate of fire for them. Yeah, it's weird every time I step near that door. Interesting. Yeah, well... Nope. Not even gonna fight these guys. Stupid brim ghosts. Plus there's no way... Plus that's a dead end anyway. <sighs> Fine. Fucking brim ghosts. I think we've almost got this one, though. This one should be in the back any... second. As long as I don't let greed drain me of all my money and all my points. As long as I don't let myself... Okay, shield's up. I have a 48-hour energy pill. I should be using it. Taking advantage of it. That was brilliant. Brilliant work, Dave. Great fundies. And here we have the Headless Horseman, who is ready to just... Who's, who just exploded it completely... At, who mysteriously exploded. You think it would have been smarter for me to use the 48 hour energy pill for, like, both phases of the Satan fight? Maybe. Yeah, well, let's do this. We got the Fallen... Fallen for phase one. And I might just throw this. And here we go. Good old Satan for phase two. I think I can kill him before the... Nope. And here we go. Here comes the clopping of Satan's hooves. Clop. 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 Pause. Clop. 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 Like clockwork. Clop. 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 Weird pause. Clop. Now he's completely out of rhythm. God damn it. He's completely off rhythm, and so am I, and now I'm dead. God damn it. So close. So close. Almost made it. Almost got the clear bonus. I think there's a clear bonus. I well, still got all this far down, and uh, item penalty was only minor, so... I like what I saw here. This was nice. If only I didn't throw it and throw it all away in that uh, one, in that one, in the uh, in the double greed room. Thanks for watching, everyone. Holy crap, this was a long one. Uh, see you guys next.